Hi, good morning. Welcome to Manifest Mondays. My name is Donna. I'm an independent Optavia coach, and I'm just here to share with you some of my favorite meal hacks and um, plain and green recipes. So today what I'm going to do is a caramel espresso waffle. This is really good for breakfast. I personally wouldn't have this for um, dessert at night because it's got espresso powder in it and you don't want to be awake all night. So anyway, well, let's get started. So what I'm going to use is um, a package of the frothy cappuccino boost and I'm going to pour that in my little bowl and then I'm going to use my mini waffle iron for this. I was going to make try it with pancakes but I think I, I, I like the waffles better um, and then also a chocolate chip pancake mix. If you don't have the chocolate chip, you could probably use the spice or the plain. I mean, it's up to you or whatever you have. Okay, so a package of each of those. And then in here, I have um, two teaspoons of almond flour and a sixteenth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. So that's going to go right in there. And then I also have two teaspoons of espresso powder. This is not going to count as a condiment because if you were to mix this, it would be your caffeine, you know, part of your caffeine. So anyway, this isn't a condiment. Um, again, if you need, if you need to know how to count these condiments as condiments or against your lean and green, ask your coach. They can help you. If you don't have a coach and you need one, give me a holler. I'm happy to help you. And otherwise, you know, let's carry on. So in here, I'm going to put somewhere between six and, um, eight tablespoons of water, which is about a half a cup, give or take a tablespoon. Um, it just depends on how thick you want them. Because remember, this is gonna be two meals. So we're gonna divide this up. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with probably six tablespoons and go from there. So if everyone's uh, had a good weekend, and living through the heat. I know it's been hotter than hell here. Um, I think it's been over 100 degrees for, I don't know, more than a week at this point. And then it's not getting any better today. It's supposed to be 103, 105 tomorrow, 108 on Wednesday. So, you know, Ugh, I hate summer. The good thing is it's mid-July. We don't have that much more to go. Okay, I'm going to put just another touch of water in that. You don't want it too thin, but I guess a little thinner than pancake batter. I don't know. Just wing it. Play it by ear. Okay, so this is a consistency that it should be. Okay, oh, it smells really good too. The uh, espresso. I had these for breakfast this morning, so as I said, don't eat them at night. You'll never get to sleep. Okay, so that's all mixed up. Dump that, my coffee. And I'm gonna use my little waffle iron, my little mini waffle iron. Um, of course, I'm gonna spray it. Ah, I need a spoon. Here we go. See, again, I tried to have everything ready and I always forget one thing, you know? Okay, so hot waffle iron. Spill it up. There we go. Oh God, they smell good. Close them up and let that cook for, I don't know, three minutes, two and a half to three minutes. Um, depends, if you like your waffles a little crispy, I'd leave it in a little bit longer. Um, otherwise, if you like them soft, two minutes should be good. So anyway, I guess the convention's coming up. Um, those of you that are going, I hope you have a wonderful time. It should be very interesting. Um, I know my coach is going, so I don't know. I, you know, it should be interesting. My eye, in case everybody's wondering, I woke up Tuesday and I had burst a blood vessel in my eye. It, when I first woke up, it, it was black. It looked like a horror movie. It was just, but so it's gotten better, as you can see, a little bit of white through it. But everybody's like, "What'd you do to your eye? I didn't do anything. The damn blood blood vessel exploded." Um, so I don't know. I guess I guess that kind of stuff just happens for no reason. You sneeze too hard or something, and the next thing you know, you got a red eye for two weeks. <sighs> so anyway, hopefully we're going wine tasting this weekend um, down at the Sugar Mill. 
uh, my, it's my cousin's birthday and that's what he chose he wanted to do was go back there and go wine tasting so I'm hoping that the red is gone by then but you know if it's not I don't care um, ooh that looks like it ooh these are so good let me go grab a plate I'll be right back So anyway, once these are done, um, I'll get as many waffles as I can out of it. The ones I made this morning, I only got three, so it was like one and a half in each serving. Um, but I used a little bit more water in these because those others were just a little bit thick. That's why, because I started out with six tablespoons, but I think it needed just a little bit more. So we'll see. Anyway, um, I'm going to just pause this until these are done, and then we'll weigh them out and all of that. And um, we'll top them and go from there. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, all the waffles are cooked. I only got three again this time, so I guess that's just going to be the standard. Um, so I measured them out. Um, each each um, serving is going to be 57 grams. Um, so there, there it is. And then I would top these, and I'm not going to put this on here because um, it's not time for me to have a fueling, and I don't want them to get all soggy. Um, so I would top each of these, or you know, the, the whole the whole serving with um, a tablespoon of um, Walden Farms caramel syrup, or you could actually use um, sugar-free pancake syrup on this. It'd be pretty good too, I think. So anyway, that's um, the espresso caramel espresso waffles. This is what makes it caramel. Um, so anyway, let me know how you like these. I like I said, I had them for breakfast this morning. I really enjoyed them. They were quite kind of a little bit different, but they were they're good. So um, if you have any comments, questions, my information is down below. Give me a holler, and um, I'm happy to help you. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I'd appreciate it if you do. And for those of you that have, thank you very much. And I will probably do one more thing here in a little bit, and we'll go from there. Talk to you later. Bye.